What's up guys, Danny, and we're, today we're here with Matt with Echo, the product manager over one of these uh, new, the newest products actually, of the trimmer line, the 3020. And Matt, you want to tell us a little bit about uh, what made y'all want to come out with a higher trimmer than the 28cc to begin with? Right, so, uh, you know, we, we heard a lot of feedback from people uh, saying, you know, we need a trimmer, brush cutter that's got a little bit more power. Um, so we've had a lot of success with our 2620, and we said, let's just make a bigger, batter 2620. That's exactly what we did. So here we got our SRM 3020, 30.5 cc, 1.8 horsepower. Nice thing about this, if you're already using an SRM 2620, save spark plug, save two, two stage air filtration system. A lot of similar components. That's where the similarities at. A lot more power, 20 inch running slot. Uh, so these have the four layer cable. Less vibration as well, right? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I'm standard with the Speed V450 head. Uh, that's not on this unit currently because what we're doing a bucket test demo. Uh, max uh, line diameter capacity on that is uh, 130. So you put a lot heavier line on there for serious brush cutting applications. Um, you know, we wanted something that had a good balance, that was lightweight. Uh, there's about a pound difference between our 2620 unit and our 3020 unit. So again, a lot of similarities, especially if you're already using a 2620 and you just say, I need something with a little bit more power, this is great. It comes in three versions, so our standard version, has the uh, gear reduction system of 1.62 to 1. Then we have our T version. Now our T version stands for high torque. So that's a 2.071 gear reduction system. So even more power on the cutting end uh, of the unit. And then we also have our U-handle uh, brush cutter, uh, the SRM uh, 3020U. Um, that one is blade ready, so it comes with everything you need. Strap on a blade and, and, and get the brush cutter. Sweet deal. So guys, we're going to do some torque tests because I know an apples to apples comparison of this product is going to be the steel FS111. So we're going to do a, a comparison between these two in a bucket just to show y'all the difference between the regular 3020 and against the 3020 that they have here. We're going to use the 111 as well and show y'all just, just how much torque difference there is between these two products. Now I know if you're a steel user, you, you might not even look at this, but you know what? Go to your dealer, give it a try, see what you think about it. Because regardless of what you're using, these people want your feedback. This is how they make products better, regardless of what you use. So let's get some footage of these in action. So this is the torque test. We're going to put these in water, test the torque level, see what they got. what the regular regular 3020 has here. Got some more wool. Like that. Now we're going to show you what the 3020 T does. We're going to put it in the bucket that we have to feed you. That is freaking crazy what that is. Guys, if you guys don't show you the difference between the 3020 and the Torque, between it and the T model against the 111, then I don't know what to tell you. That's a great comparison is what that is. All right guys, so I want to thank, special thanks to Matt, who apparently don't like cameras, for going, for going over some of the differences between this product and what made them actually want to raise the bar from a 28cc to a 30cc engine. So 30 and a half cc is excellent and I think it's great. I actually have the 3020T and we put it through some real thick stuff. That video is going to be posted on Echo Beans Business, so y'all be sure to check that out when they release it because You'll be amazed at what this thing will go through. But this bucket test really showed you the difference in torque between models. 
And I know a lot of you are going to say, hey, it's a four stroke against a two stroke. I can totally agree with that. But when you're when you're cutting through thick stuff and things like that, your torque is what's going to matter. And so if, you, if you're going through thick grass and things like that, and you're using the 111, of course it's going to go through it. But is it going to, you know, it's going to bog down more compared to what a, a high torque engine is going to do for you. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, Matt, for your time. I appreciate it. And smash the subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one.